Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trevlin and this is my quest log. Last time we went through the Cathedral of the Deep and it's now to challenge the boss of the area. So let's just make a quick tour or quick trip back to the cleansing chapel. At the end of the last episode I showed you how to get to the boss. I'm just gonna show it again since this is the quickest way to get there. Not too many enemies in the way, though one of them can be a bit of a pain. Oh, need to pull the elevator down. Come on, come on. There we go. Sad thing is that I'm gonna have to clear the enemies. You can make a run for the boss straight away if you want to, but... I want to have time and summon all of the possible NPCs. Be careful here, there's a guy hanging on the ledge here. He did not die. Or did he? Yes, he did. Careful about the guy getting up here in the corner. He throws undead charms at you. So, up the stairs and to the right. Big gate that we opened up. Down to the right is where we first met with Patches. But we're going to the left and taking the elevator down. Hopefully you unlock, unlock this shortcut. You would have if you followed my guide. So yeah, the one that might give us a bit of a problem is the guy with the two-handed sword. He can be quite aggressive. Let's clear all the little guys first. Oh, big guy. I was hoping... Can I, like, just make you fall down or something and be done with you? I like having this small guy running around here as well. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and the follow-up with a kick. Come on, just die already. There we go. <sighs> so aggressive. And there's another one on the bench here, but... He's unaware of us in the beginning, so I was about to say we can get him qu pretty easy, but there we go. And then there's just these two. There we go. Thank you. Okay, behind the big altar. You find the stairs down to the boss. And right away we have summoning signs. Unreal of Astora. Let's wait for her to be summoned. There we go. And of course with her, or him in the case of me, Horus the Hushed. I forgot I was playing a female character. There is a third summon for this boss, but that one actually it is located down here in the corner by the fog wall. But to get that to trigger, you need to go into the area that I'm gonna be showing after this part, Faron Keep, and you need to find a cert certain item. It's actually ashes and you need to give those to the maid and that will trigger the next step of Ceres quest. And after that, you are able to summon Ceres for this battle as well, in case you want to know. But we, we're just going to go with Horus and Henri. That's good enough for us. 
So let's see, this boss is weak to physical attack and resistant to dark, magic, bleed and poison and toxic. So bear that in mind. Otherwise it's a little bit of a interesting boss. Right away notice the red that got caught on this guy. That's the enemy you want to kill. As soon as you kill it, the boss loses health. And a new flame will drop down, find the enemy, kill it. Rinse and repeat. Might be difficult sometimes when you get if you get stuck in between all of the enemies. Can be quite dangerous. And since there's so many of them, it's actually perfect having help with summons for this boss because otherwise all of them would just be going after you. Let's see where the, the uh, flame is over here, I think. Yeah, at 50% HP, the real like priest gets summoned in the middle of it all. As well as these blue deacons that have a bit more health. So you need to jump in, do a couple of quick strikes, get out again. You don't want to get stuck in there. They can make this big... I think it's like an area spell as you see. They're shunting spells. Let's see, where is he there? So you want to try to go as quickly as you can. Ooh. And beat him down. Whoa, there. Let's go see. They don't do much health, but it can be dangerous if you get stuck in between everything. There we go. They're shunting or channeling that spell. Come on, leave me alone. See why there's it's so good having multiple friends with you, or phantoms. And there we go. And you receive the small doll and soul of the deacons of the deep. And both Andre and Horus survived. Good. And a bonfire spawns. So yeah, let's take a look at that small doll, because that's something new, as well as... Just for the sake of it, let's check the info on the soul as well. So yeah, the the thing we wanted is the small doll. Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Solivan gave this doll to valued subjects, so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. And this is a key item that we will be needing for a later episode. Just two more things before we end this episode. As you sit down by the bonfire, notice in the back by the altar some an item actually spawned. Pick that up to receive the Archdeacon set. And then we're going back to the Firelink Shrine here. Yeah. Actually, let's also take a look at what type of weapon we can get with the soul. But up here we have Henri and Horus again. So let's speak with them. Or Horus doesn't have much to say as always. Ah, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Henri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is set to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldridge's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city and so becomes... Yeah. 
So we're gonna go through Farron Keep and keep on going that path until we reach Irithel of the Boreal Valley. So, Ludleth, what can we make uh -huh. with this fine soul? Let's see. You can get the Deep Soul sorcery spell in case you want to get all those spells in the game. Or you can get the Cleric's Candlestick Straight Sword. A intelligence based weapon. So, yeah. That's it for this episode. Quick as always when it comes to the bosses. So yeah, next time we will be going back to Faron Keep. So until then, take care and happy gaming. Bye bye.